Hello, my name is Dr. Rachel Gross, and I am a pediatrician and researcher working at the Recover Initiative. Hello, my name is Dr. Melissa Stockwell, and I'm a pediatrician and researcher working at the Recover Initiative. Hello, my name is Dr. Taneyo Tawitai, and I'm a biostatistician and researcher working at the Recover Initiative. What is Recover? Recover is a national research study funded by the NIH and aimed at understanding the long-term effects of COVID. In this video, we will share what we have learned so far about long COVID in children and teenagers. What have we learned about long COVID in children and teenagers? There are two common misperceptions about long COVID, which we now know are not true. One misperception is that children do not get long COVID. We know that they do. The second is that if children develop long COVID, it looks the same as long COVID in adults, which we now also know is not true. To better understand long COVID in children, the RECOVER study compared the symptoms of children and teenagers who had a COVID infection in the past to those who had never had a COVID infection. In these children and teenagers, we found that long COVID affects almost every organ system of the body. Interestingly, we found that school-aged children between 6 and 11 years old and teenagers between 12 and 17 years old do not have all of the same symptoms of long COVID. While some symptoms were common in both age groups, there were unique differences. Based on the symptom patterns we found, we developed a way for researchers to identify children and teenagers who appear likely to have long COVID. We then tried to identify how symptoms of long COVID group together. We found that in both school-aged children and teenagers, there's a group with many symptoms across multiple organ systems. In both school-aged children and teenagers, we also found a group who had mostly pain and tiredness. However, in school-aged children, there were two unique groups that were not found in teenagers, a group with mostly stomach pain and nausea or vomiting, and a group with mostly trouble sleeping and trouble with memory or focusing. In teenagers, we found a unique group with mostly change in or loss of their smell or taste. What does this research mean for parents and healthcare teams? We hope that the symptoms identified are useful to families as well as to pediatricians and healthcare teams who may be less familiar with the prolonged symptoms that children and teenagers can have after a COVID infection. We hope that our findings raise awareness about long COVID by showing that children can develop long COVID and that their symptoms may be different from those in adults. Most importantly, we want families and healthcare teams to know that school-aged children and teenagers may have similar but distinguishable symptoms of long COVID. Why is this research important? We also hope that this study helps other researchers identify and follow children with long COVID over time. While not meant as a way to clinically diagnose a child with long COVID, we hope that these findings can contribute to future research about long COVID in children and teenagers and bring us closer to preventing and treating long COVID in younger populations. On behalf of all Recover researchers and representatives, we're excited to share these and future findings with you. If you would like to learn more about the research we did, please visit the publications page on recovercovid.org.